Well, first of all, I offer my obeisances to my dearest mother. This wonderful mother of mine. Which nobody can imagine. How much patience she has. With her, with her disobedient children. Giving us so many wonderful things every day. But no. by our Guru Deva Shila Prabhupada, we have actually learned how to appreciate her. We have learned to see her as a mother. You see, if you're not believing in God, then you think that the Mother Earth is a ball of dirt. Which is floating in the space just for your pleasure. Just for your crazy ideas. And you can do with her whatever you like. And yet you will never be held responsible for it. This is unfortunate modern thinking. Our ancestors, they would not think that way. <coughs> they were very mystical. They could see the divine even behind material objects. But Mother Earth is not a material object. Mother Earth is the very fountainhead of life. The substance may be material. Just like your body. Your body is material. And sometimes you cut your nails. And then when you cut your nails, do you glue it on a piece of paper and buy a frame? Hang it, on, hang it on your wall, says, these were my nails when I was eight, these were my nails when I was ten. I've not seen anybody do that. So, so you cut your nails and throw them away. So you cut your hair and throw it away. Why? Because you're not this nail and you're not this hair. So Mother Earth, she has so many material things like rocks and volcanoes and, and oceans. Individually, they may be looked upon like molecules. But they are the expression of the life-giving mother. She's the most wonderful mother. And more beautiful than anybody. Hmm? Who could compare to the beauty of Mother Earth? It's fascinating. And if somebody say the most beautiful thing in the world is woman, well then who produced all these beautiful women? That was Mother Earth again. So whatever way you turn it, left or right, you always end up with Mother Earth. So what's the problem you have to treat her as a living being? <laughs> Only living beings produce living beings. Huh? Dead matter does not produce human beings. But living beings they modify and modulate and manipulate matter. And they do it quite expertly. Look, they take a stupid little piece of plastic with a little electronics things and 
with a battery. And here you got a little recorder. You can record this whole class on this. And you can take it somewhere else and somebody else can listen to it. So this was matter. It still matter. But because it was touched by spirit, now it's fulfilling such an sophisticated purpose. Well, that's because it's quality. Because even today the cheapest of all telephones also records. So it's a funny thing this world. But my point is this, that humans can manipulate matter to do things. But this machine cannot invent an engineer. <laughs> so if I think that the matter is the highest, then I'm so stupid, like somebody who's saying, oh, very soon this machine will produce an engineer. But now what's the problem? These stupid people who say that this machine will produce an engineer, they're all over the universities in the world. And the worst thing is they're holding the professor title. And they want to teach young kids that life comes from matter. And the kids, they don't know what to say. They don't know. Are you all stupid? Or am I stupid? So, definitely, anybody goes to school or to university, he must go through some big difficulties. Because everything they say in school, I mean the essential things, they're all wrong. They're telling you the wrong things. Even common sense can tell you they are wrong. But then if you complain, then they want to give you Ritalin. Yeah, you don't call it Ritalin in Bulgaria? We don't have it. We still heavy medicate our hyperactive kids. What you do? You medicate them? Yeah. Well, Ritalin is a medication. Yes, but yeah. We give them the common treatment for hyperactive kids here is we give them Anyway, I'm saying that if you question if you question the people who tell you lies, then you're treated like you are the one who is in problem. I mean that's that's what happened to me. That was that was my childhood. I was always fighting with the teachers. I challenged them. And they didn't like me. <laughs> I was kicked out from high school. And I'm still happy about that. <laughs> I didn't have to spend all my time listening to lies. And I could search out if there's somebody in the world who will tell you the truth. And I was so lucky. I met Srila Prabhupada. And he was teaching the truth. Now I challenge you. Is Prabhupada teaching the truth or is the university teaching the truth? If Prabhupada is teaching the truth, then you better stay with Prabhupada. And if 
университетското материално познание това е истината, Then you better forget about Krishna consciousness. You can say all oh, these sentimental people there, they're reading always some books with some strange letters inside, they call it Sanskrit, and then they go and they chant mantras. And sometimes they stand on the head in the yoga class. Може да кажете, ево всеки тия сантименталист, те четат разни книги с странни буквички, където го наричат санскрит и по някакъв път си стоят на главата <laughs> в време на йога част. So, you better stay away from these people. По-добре стой далеч от тия хора. Otherwise your world will also come upside down. Защото и твой свят ще се обърне иначе. <laughs> so this is your decision. Това е твоето решение. You have to decide it. Ти трябва да го решиш това. When I met Srila Prabhupada, that was the first time in my life that I accepted an authority. And what Prabhupada told me was not easy to accept. First of all, he asked me, please get up at 4.30 in the morning. You asked my mother. Питайте майка ми. You could not believe it. Тя не можеше да ви да повярва. I wanted to sleep to 10 o'clock in the morning. Аз исках да спя до 10 часа сутринта. I was so much in love with my bed and my pillow. Толкова бях влюбен в леглото и възглавницата си. I was thinking that was the best thing that was there in the world. Мислиш, че това е най-хубавото нещо на света. So when I told my mother that now I'm getting up at 4.30, they thought, what do they put into your food? Като казах на майка ми, че става в 4.30, тя каза, какво си сложи храната? This is not possible, you're still the same guy. Това не е възможно, ти същи човек ли си се още? But because I believe in Prabhupada. Това е, защото вярвах в Прабхупад. What he said was the truth. Това, което той казаше, е истина. He said, Brahma Murta, these are the two hours before sunrise. Той казаше, Brahma Murta, това са двата часа преди изгрева. That is the time you should rise. Това е времето, в което трябва да ставаш. That is the time you should... No, no, don't, please, don't close that. Don't, don't kill me. If you want more hot, you go to that side. Uh, uh, so if you, if you want to understand clear things, Get up early in the morning and meditate. Ако искате да бъдете ясно нещата, ставайте рано сутрин и медитирайте. What did we meditate this morning? Тази сутрин какво медитирахме? Шлока? Yes. Васудева пара. Васудева Васудева пара йога. Васудева пара крия. Васудева пара мяна. Vasudeva param papa, Vasudeva paro dharmo, Vasudeva para gati. Translation. Vasudev, the Supreme Lord, Krishna, Vasudeva Kovnia, Bog Krishna, is the goal of, of knowledge. На познанието на верите, на всички отречения, на цяло познание, на цялата всичка мака е там, за да го удовлетвори. They are also meant to please him. Всички дейности и проучвания също направени, измислени за да го удовлетворят него. То е най-висшето знание. Няма знание без Васудева. Васудева е всички отречения. Васудева е дарма. The essence of spirituality. Vasudeva is dharma, the essence of the spirituality. Vasudeva paragati. Vasudeva is the highest goal to reach. So this is what we learned this morning. And because we learned it early, now everybody still remembers.
If we learn this shloka now in the night, everybody will forget. Ako je učimo ta shloka sigaj će to se čeka kad zaboravite. That's the advantage of Brahma Muhurta. The two hours before sunrise. That's where you're a little bit more bright. Ta primusimo Brahma Muhurta. Dva ta časa pred izgrad, toga si malo posvetno. So Prabhupada what he says it's right. Prabhupada tako kaže to kaže pravo. The stool of an animal is contaminated. When you touch the stool of an animal, then you have to take a bath. But the stool of the cow, it's cow dung, it's antiseptic. It is so good that you can make a wall covering floors uh, you can make so many things from cow dung you can even cook with it može da praviš obicovka na stenite na poda dori može gotviš ne in india almost everybody eats only food cooked by cow dung v india prosti sishki edat samo hrana zgotvena na vr sa spitki od kravičke stene and that's much better than wood sa no po dobro od drvo because don't produce any negative gases. It produces the best food. And where do you he- learn this from? From the Vedas. The Vedas tell us about this. They know everything. They know what's right. They know what's wrong. They tell you. And if you want to know, just say yes. Просто кажи да. Don't say maybe. Не казай може би. Say yes. Кажи да. And when you go to school, и те получиваш да. And they tell you something. И те ти кажат нешто. Then just say no. Просто не. And most likely you will be right. И най-вероятно ще си прав. Because materialism is really a silly philosophy. Тот материализъм е истина глупава философия. Because it says, eat, sleep, and be merry, for tomorrow you die. Actually, materialism, materialism is the criminal's philosophy. Because it says, we believe in the survival of the fittest. So if you are having something, and I want to have that what you have. All I have to do is cut your throat. <laughs> then you are dead and I can take your things. Survival of the fittest. I had the knife. I cut its throat. Now I have this nice blue suit. That is materialism. That's colonialism. That's feudalism. That's imperialism. They give so many names to it. Capitalism. World Bank. They have so many names for it, but there's only one meaning. I have what others had before. I got rid of them. Now it's mine. Can you imagine this? Am I crazy? Could you please save me from my madness? I think this is what's going on in this world. And I don't want to be part of it. I don't want to be here. I mean, if I can serve Prabhupada here, then okay, I can stay here. If I can give the truth to others, but I cannot tell other people that life comes from matter. Okay, then the question is, if life doesn't come from matter, where does it come from? <laughs> Who, where, where do I get the answer? <coughs> There are two different answers. The number one, <coughs> you can say, I don't know. <laughs> but the number two, 
You can only say yes. Može kažeš da. What is the number two answer? Kako je odgovor nomer dve? Now I got you, huh? Da, sam ih kvane. You guys don't know who you come from, huh? Ne znam te bi. Tell me, please. Mora mi kažete mi. Life comes from life. That's true, but it's very abstract. My mother. That's also very nice. Very romantic. No romantic. I gave the first explanation. Dale prvo to objasnenje. Sad čič Ananda Factory. Sad čič Ananda Fabrika. Sad sta je već kiva i svineni već. Come on, be normal. Pa ne to normalni. Where does life come from? Od kredo života. That is the second question. Second answer. Ta je storija prosto od Krišnja. Then life comes from Mother Earth. Od majka to je zemlja. Mother Earth is producing our life. Tja pravi naše živote. In one million ways. In one million varieties. But always and everything and all the time. Mother Earth is producing life. Različni varijaciji, no vinegi tja pravi prirodu. And you cannot say no. I ne možda kajš ne. And you cannot say maybe. <laughs> and you cannot say I don't know. <laughs> but you only can say one thing. <laughs> I was too busy thinking of other things. I didn't pay attention to my mother. But the, the, the answer number two. No, That is God. The life comes from God. But then you can say, but I don't see him. How do you prove that there is a God who created my life? Then I tell you, you are the proof of God's existence. You are so wonderful, my dear. Whoever has created you, designed you, and invented the place where you live, he got to be someone else. Koji ti da te je sazdao i da izmislim jasno kaj ti živeš tada i nekaj druga ne? He gotta be the number one of all. To je tada nomer na ocički. I'm not saying that to flatter you. Ne go kazam tva za da te je oskaja. I'm simply saying that that's the truth. Prosto kam će tva je istinata. Look at this girl. Viš ti tamo mi čini. I mean who could invent it? A person like this, unless the myth is supreme magic. Can any engineer, any any manufacturing company, can any any huge industry, can any huge country like the U.S. produce one mosquito only? Može nekako engineer, gulama kompanija, duri gulama strana kad uslaž da proizvod duri duri jedin umar. They always give these Nobel prizes to all Tom, Dick, and Harrys. Tava te Nobel nagradi na. Na neki ubi na neki kori. Everybody gets a Nobel prize to take home. Sexy počal Nobel nagradi da se odnese. And nobody can even make a mosquito. I niko ne može ni kumar da napravi. But God, they say, oh, we don't know. We don't think we should give any prize to him. Ne bi se stramo da me nekako vaskala nagrada. Most likely he doesn't exist. Najvjerojatno ne se što su. Okay, there's a few sentimentalists they believe he exists. Ne, ima neku sentimentalisti te vjeruju što je što su. So we don't want to disturb them with our science. That's what my father told me. He said, I know you religious people are more happy. But that's because you don't know what I know. Well, I probably didn't want to know it either. But in the end of his life he changed his mind. So he could understand that it's pretty stupid to be a materialist. But because so many materialists are there. I mean practically they teach us be ready to kill. Bati gotov da ubivaš. 
That's why every country has a military. Sa vsaka strana ima vojn. Except Costa Rica. Osvem Costa Rica. Every country has a military. Vsaka strana ima vojn. And they always tell the young boys. I vi kažete na majtom četa. Be ready to kill for your country. Pa ti gotov da ubiješ za svoju stranu. Biggest industry. Najgoljata industrija. Killing training. Ubivanje, nani obučenje po ubivanje. And in this way, we are trained up that everybody is your enemy. And you have to be ready to kill them. Whether they teach you that you should love everybody. Can you tell me that? Where do people teach you in this world that you're supposed to love everybody? Thank you. Bhakti yoga, bhakti yoga, bhakti yoga dana. Bhakti e Krishna namas manana kramdana. That is the fact. In bhakti yoga you have to learn how to love everybody. Because we are all sons and daughters of the same creator. And bhakti yoga means connect with the creator through love. So I am challenging you. With great love and affection. If Prabhupada is right, then study his book carefully. And really pay attention. I know you don't read books anymore. I know you you are you are you are totally obsessed by watching all day this little screen of your telephone. I have to congratulate you because you don't have it right now in class. Nowadays when I go up in a bus or go up in an airplane, everybody's looking at this thing. And when they look at you, they go like, <laughs> the television is like that also. Huh? There's a television running. And the people they they look at <laughs> Yes, how are you? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> they they wish it so <laughs> like if there's a big magnet. <laughs> And that magnet is just a few <laughs> dots <laughs> doing like this in front of a screen. Just some 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 electronic dots. <laughs> but they are so mesmerizing. In in Brazil they tell a story. Huh? They, one person is telling the other. Do you know? That the president of the country just stole half of the country's assets nice. and sent it to Switzerland. And the other says, Really? How horrible! And then a football is coming. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> And the two eyes go like. And then the other asks, what were you talking about? I forgot. Huh? A little bing 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 football and they forget everything. So that's why the politicians love football. Because they, they can go on stealing everybody and everybody saying, saying world match, football game. And if that doesn't work, then they go to Russia and they say, Oh, you want to have a football game? Then they invent an enemy. Oh, ISIS wants to take over something. Like this whole stupid ISIS story. 
First of all, they, the United States of America armed ISIS and trained them. And then when they get some power, then they say, oh, we also have our interests. And then we have to all go in the world go and kill ISIS. I mean, it's, it's so silly, create false enemy, enemies. And by these enemies, we keep everybody in illusion. And you forget the beautiful life and the Creator, and that you're supposed to love everybody. And what to speak of exploiting the elements? This is, this is the most severe of all cases. Therefore, the Spanish people said, everything which flies in the air, crawls on the, on the earth, or swims in the water, goes into my cooking pan. <laughs> that is the mentality how people are treating the animals. It is horrible. If animals would have a religion, then man would be the, the demon. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> so because it's uh, I'm absolutely unimaginable what man is doing with the animals. So we are really hoping that people can understand this. That's what Prabhupada came for. He said, please wake up my friend. Don't treat the animals like objects. Don't treat the women like they are just for supplying pleasure for you. Don't deal with Mother Earth like she is just a ball of dirt and you can just extract from her anything you want. You know, we have a slogan in South America. South America има такова мото. That is water yes, gold no. Да, да, злато не. It's very popular slogan. Много известен слоган. Water yes, gold no. Злато, да, да, злато не. Because in order to get the gold out of the mountain. Защото за да изкарат златото от планината you have to destroy the water. And the water is very important. The gold, according to the indigenous people, the gold which is all over the world, that's actually the semen of Mother Earth. This is a very life-giving power inside the Earth. If you know what the people do to extract the gold from the earth, immediately we would start vomiting. And anybody dealing with gold in the city, you would put him in jail. They take the earth and they put it in a mix, in a blender with a lot of water. Then they add cyanuro. They add cyanide and mercury. Highly toxic poison. And then when this cyanide and and, and mercury, this mixture is floating by, the, the gold goes to this poison. 
and all the water which is used for blending mountains. И цялата тази вода, която се използва се да се мели по едините с нея, becomes highly toxic. Става свръх токсична. And the river where the gold exploitation is going on. И реката където се случва това експлоатацията на златото. Край. And all the cities on that river, they all become contaminated. So now you can understand why the people in South America say water yes and gold no. It's not like in the past where somebody dig a little hole in the water in the earth somewhere and find a little gold. It's not like that. What's happening when they're mining gold, copper, silver? They destroy Mother Earth. And if the gold they find, they all take it to America, Canada and other countries. Not a gram stays there. And how do they do that? Well, they just pay some criminal politicians. They throw them a little money so that they can keep it in their bank account in Switzerland. And to the common people in the country, they say, well, we give many jobs. Without us, the people would have no work. That's materialism. Do you want to hang some gold in your ear? The Vedas say gold is yellow stool. It's, it's very dangerous. People kill each other for a little gold. Would you go through uh, would you go through the city of Sofia with like a nice ball of gold in your hand? Do you really think you would reach the other side of the city? Huh? I mean it's it's maybe an experiment. But I know that in most city I know you won't even get two blocks. And then there's two possibilities. The, the one is you are still there, but the gold is gone. And the other variety is you are not there, and the gold is also gone. <laughs> That's how beautiful gold is. Go with an apple, nobody does anything. <laughs> so what does gold do to people? It drives them mad. The whole industry of this gold. And now they discovered there's also gold inside the ocean. Or you must have heard about the fracking. Huh? Fracking, get some money out of the rocks. That's another subject. I heard in Bulgaria the people rejected fracking. In one place or in all of Bulgaria? No, in one place. Well, we have to make applause for the people from that place. They wanted to protect Mother Earth. So this is what the World Conscious Pact does. And for that we need all the scientists, all the lawyers, all the doctors, all the intelligentsia, everybody should be part of the World Conscious Pact and protect Mother Earth. So here our Rasa Lila, she has made very nice contributions in the internet. We have a very good website. It's called the United Nations of the Spirit and the World Conscious Pact. And there you can see what it means and how you can be an activist in your area. 
Раса Лио направи някои много красиви така, допринеси за нашите интернет присъствие с вебсайта, който е за, юна... за органите знаци на духа, за, Международ... за... световния пак за съзнателност. Може да влезете там и провидите как може да участвате в опазването на майката земя. Едно движение, активистско движение. But it has to grow naturally. Но то трябва само по себе си естествено да порасте. It has to grow from the real responsible people. Трябва да дойде от наистина отговорни хора. Because защото only this way само по този начин they cannot be defeated. Те не могат да бъдат победени. Because I tell you in this world like in South America. Казвам и в този свят, както в Южна Америка. In the year 2017. Only in Colombia. And Brazil together. И Бразил заедно. 340 activists protecting Mother Earth were murdered. Са убити 340 активиста, които предпазят майката земя. They were coming overnight. No, this guy's an activist, and they just pull him out and shoot him. Идват през нощта, казва този човек активист, вадят го отлично и го застрелят. Because those people who make money, защото тия хора, които правят пари, they don't like anybody to point out what's going on. На тях не им харесва някой да показва всъщност какво се случва. People like me are not welcome. Хората като мен не са добре дошли. Because I always open my big mouth. Защото ние си отварям голямата уста. And I say what's going on. И казвам това, което се случва. And I get people to become activists. И карам хората да стават активисти. But as I told, in one year, 340 people killed in two countries. Една държава, 340 души са убити в две страни. And all they were doing, protecting Mother Earth. И те всичко, което са правили, е да пазят майката. None of them even owned a pistol. Нито един от тях дори не е притежал пистолет. They were not military aggressors or something. Не са някакви военни агресори или нещо от това. But this big... You know one of the biggest murderers in the world? What's his name? Знаете ли какво е името на един от най-големите убийци в света? Most probably going to say the US military. Сега ще кажете военните на САЩ. But it's not true. Дори не е това истина. It's called the World Bank. Това се нича от Световната банка. They are the biggest murderers in this world. Те са най-големите убийци в този свят. In order to get their business accomplished in so many countries, за да постигнат своят бизнес, нали, да се случва в толкова много страни, убиват всеки, който се появи на пътя. Но те го правят така, бе, не знам как се случи това. И като дойдат в тази страна, получават червения килин. О, директорът на Световната банка идва. Because he can give more loans to our country. It must be more than a loan to our country. He will promote foreign investment. Ще промотира, нали, ще поощри чуждите инвестиции. So it's with they are moving with high prestige, but all they are bloody murderers. Те се движат във висок престиж, но всъщност са ни проклети убийци. And I can prove that in case you doubt. И мога да ви го докажа, ако се съмняваш. I'm not just talking. Не е просто така си говоря. They have a system for the murder. Имат си система за убийство. It's where money can be made. Get rid of the opposition. Там където може да се направят пари, се отървете от опозицията. That is the system. Това е системата. And our world has to pay the price. И нашия свят трябва да плаща цената. They are, they are using every trick in the imaginable. Те използват всеки номер, който може да си представите. So Prabhupada said this. Prabhupada will tell you. If you don't believe in Bhagavan. If you don't believe in Bhagavan. If you don't believe in love. If you don't believe in love. Then you take a job at the World Bank. You guys will get a job at the Svetovnata Bank. And then you become one of those nasty fellows who, for making money, is going to go around killing animals and men. You should start with those gadni kora, who, to earn bread, will be killed and will be killed by animals and men. And I must be honest with you. Трябва да бъда честен с вас. If you kill animals, ако убивате животни, you are not very much different than the one who kills men. Не сте много по-различни от тези, които убиват хора. 
That's what the Bible says. Това се казва в Библията. Those who kill the ox is like the one who kills man. Този, който убива вова, е този, е като този, който убива човек. That's the Old Testament. Това е Стария завет. So, if you are one of those people systematically killing animals, ако сте от тези хора, които систематично убиват животни, just for your eating, само за да ядете, you're not much better than the guys from the world. Не сте много по-добри от хората от Световната банка. Only you may not do such bad things yourself. Просто не правите сами по себе си толкова лоши неща. When I was flying over Bulgaria. Когато летях над България. Just yesterday. Вчера. Then as the airplane went down. Когато самолета се спускаше. I could see all the concentration camps of Bulgaria. Виждах всички концентрационни лагери на България. In In Bulgaria almost every city has concentration camps. Bulgaria всеки град почти има такъв концентрационен лагер. Do you know which ones I'm referring to? Знаете ли към кои реферирам? Concentration camps which you can see from the air. Тези концентрационни лагери, които може да видиш от въздуха. Garbage. Garbage place. You can't see the slaughterhouses from there. Animal farms. The chicken farms. А пилешките ферми. These are the long, long, long buildings with millions of chickens. С милиони пилета вътре. You have them everywhere. Имате ги на всяка ли? That's what they are. Concentration camps for chickens. Пасат на концентрационни лагери за пилета. So if you eat chicken, sorry for you. Ако едете пиле, съжалявам за вас. And more sorry for the chicken. Но повече съжалявам за пилета. And next day you'll be a chicken in a chicken farm. И на следващия ден вие ще сте пили в пилешка ферма. That's what the Vedas tell us. Това ни казват ведите. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. За око и зъб за зъб. And now you may say, but these are just chickens. Това си казвам, това е просто пиле. Such beautiful chicken. Такова красиво пиле. You know, I was brought up in a farm. Знаете ли, аз бях отгледан в ферма. Our chicken which were running around in the in the country houses they were with their little chicks running freely нашите кокошки тишеха свободни със своите пиленца and the chicken mother и майката кокошка she looks after her chicks i tell you тя така се грижи за пиленцата си ги пази ги and if a, if a dog comes or anything Chicken mother will attack the dog. И ако дойде някакво пиле, кокошката ще го нападне. Куче. She will risk her life for her chicks. Тя ще рискува живота си на своите пиленца. And you think she's just a stupid chicken? А си мислите, това е просто едно глупо пиле. So this is our mercy of Shila Prabhupada which we received. Това е милостта, която получихме от Shila Prabhupada. Before I met Shila Prabhupada, I did not know how important is a chicken. Преди да срещна Шива Прабхупада, аз не знаех колко е важно нещо пиле. I have to confess. Трябва да призная. Before I was 15, преди да бъда на 15, преди да стана на 15, I would also still eat chicken. Все още я се бях пиле. It's very embarrassing. Много е така срамно. But it's the truth. Но е истината. So, what are we going to do? И какво ще правим сега? If we want to get rid of this materialistic system, искаме да се отървем от тази материалистична система. We need a spiritual system. Имаме нужда от духовна система. And that spiritual system is very scientific. И тази духовна система е много научна. What is it? Каква е тя? Learn how to love a chicken. Научете се как да обичате пилето. You know? Krishna consciousness is so powerful. We even have to learn how to love Mr. Trump. Krishna знае толкова могъщо, че ние трябва да се опитаме да се научим дори да обичаме господин Тръмп. Because love is for everyone. Защото любовта е за всички. That is that is the divine path. Това е божествената пътека. Ом салве баванту шукина салве шантуни рамая. Сарве бадрани пашчанту матка читту кабак бабет ом шанти, ом шанти, ом шанти ги. That is our Vedic philosophy. Това е нашата ведическа философия. Everybody has a right to be happy. Всеки има право да бъде щастлив. 
that we must provide that as much as we can. Everybody has a right to be healthy. Everybody has a right to his own opinion. And hopefully uses it to get uh, impartial judgment clarity. And nobody in this world should be put in misery due to my fault. И никой в този свят не трябва да бъде вкаран в мъка заради моите грешни действия. That, Ако това го приемете, then you are Hindu. значи сте хиндуист. That, Ако не го приемете, I don't know what you are. не знам какви сте. But not Ама не, някой духовен. And not И не, някой любящ. And not И не, някой правдив. And not И не, някой интелигентен. And not ne, somebody friendly. In other words, you are some kind of public danger. <laughs> At least for the chicken, you are very good. <laughs> uh, and for the pigs and for the and for the human beings also. So is that what you want? Is that what you aspire for? Към това ли се стремите? I know my words are very hard. Знам, че думите ми са доста тежки. I'm surprised you haven't walked out yet. Чуден съм, че сте си тръгнали. But the truth is the truth. Истината си истина. And I can speak like this freely. И това мога да си говоря свободно. Because I'm traveling in three, four days. Защото си тръгвам след 3-4 дена. Тръгвам си. It's all for the best. Всичко е за най-добро. За добро. We want you to be happy. Искаме да бъдете щастливи. And you can only be happy if you want to make others happy. А можете да бъдете щастливи само ако искате другите да бъдат щастливи. If you don't feel it's worthwhile to make others happy, okay. You also don't deserve to be happy. Ако не смятате, че си струва да правите другите щастливи, добре, значи вие не заслужавате да сте щастливи. But there's a problem. Но има проблем. Everybody wants to be happy. Всеки иска да бъде щастлив. So if everybody wants to be happy. И ако някой иска да бъде щастлив, then How is possible that they act against the happiness of others? И как тогава може да действат срещу чуждото щастие? Where's the logic? Каква е логиката? Къде е логиката? Where's the common sense? Къде е здравия разум? The Bible says. Библията казва. Библията си казва. Those who kill by the sword will be killed by the sword. Който вади нож от него и от този мир. But nowadays, в днешно време, we have a new type of arm. Имаме ново оръжие. A new type of arm, very dangerous arm. Много опасно, ново оръжие. This is the arm for this age. Това е оръжието за тази епоха. And we are supplying it to others. И ние го предоставяме на другите, снабдяваме ги с него. Ачара, can you bring me the pair of cartridges, please? Yes. Ачара, ще бъдеш на мен картарите. This is the arm for this age. Това е оръжието за тази епоха. Very dangerous discs. Много опасни дискове. You can kill somebody with them. Може да убием някой с тях. But, но, what we killing, това, което убиваме ние, it is the Tamaguna energy. Е енергията на невежество. This sounds very sweet. Take 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu didn't kill anyone. No, Bhu Nikhu. But he killed negative influence of ignorance. No, Bhu negative to the area and the very soon. By sending his disciples. He's practically chinese pity. To play the symbols. The fears they the symbolic to sell us yet. This sound you can hear all around the world. And when you get a little closer, you will hear. It will take away your desire to gamble, to lie and cheat. It will take away your desire to utilize other people for your pleasure. And it will take away your desire. Rather, you want to become a servant. As a matter of fact, anybody who plays these symbols, is a servant of the kirtan. He's a servant of everybody. This sound, it gives hope. And when you play this, you don't need to take any intoxication anymore. Because this sound is so satisfying. It regulates your inner, inner consciousness. There is That's why every devotee should have his own pair of cards. It's like the singing sound of the Simon. Now I will tell you a story. One time one of my disciples, he was a director of a bank. And he was working on the 14th floor in Bukaramanga. Bukaramanga. <laughs> It's a city in Colombia. <laughs> so, as he was working in, on his desk, a priest came in to do some banking business. And from down, from the, the, the windows were open, they were hearing the sound. Because it's very good sound, it travels far. So the priest went to the window to look. And then he said, he him, how ridiculous, <laughs> these stupid people make just noise in the road. And he didn't know that the person 
We were sitting, uh, we were sitting on the desk. Че човек, който седял на бюрото, was a devotee. Е предано даде. So the devotee said, И предано даде е казал, Father, could you come here? Отче, може ли да дойдеш, моля? And then he opened his desk. Отворил си бюрото. And he pulled out the Bible. И изкарал една Библия. And he opened the psalm. И отворил на някакъв псалм. And he said, Father, you know what it says here? It says, one should chant the names of the Lord accompanied by symbols. Човек трябва да възпява имената на Бога акомпаниран от симбали. Now, he asked him, do you know what they are playing there? Ти знаеш те какво свирят там? Priest was stunned. He couldn't say a word. Свещеника бил шашнат, не може да бери дума. And he said, they are playing symbols. И казал, те свират с цимбали. And do you know what they are thinking? What they are singing? Знаеш ли какво пеят? They are singing the names of God in Sanskrit. Пеят имената на Бога на санскрит. I think you should inform yourself better before you cast judgments. Мисля, че трябва да се информираш по-добре преди да хвърляш обвинение. So this is the power of the symbol. It has already reached many places. Kartals. They are called the Kartals. They are not to be used like Sudarshan discs. Sudarshan is also a disc. Comes from the finger of Vishnu. Is what prastan of Vishnu. And that cuts heads. I reject the vitva. If you are doing something wrong. Ako praješ nešto grešno. But the cartals is the weapon of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No karatari te sa uraje tu na Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It cuts right through the false ego. Reže direktno prez falšivo to je. And people have to say, wow, what was that sound? E kada ti si kad wow kako veš to zvuk? So. Maybe you did not know that. Možná ne go znáte to. How important are these cartels? Kolik vážně se tezí karatel? The only instruments proud by the head in the beginning was a pair of cartels. Jediný instrumenty, kdy to proud patří, mohl začal to byl čip karatel. And the little drum somebody had given to him. I malý barabán, kdy to někdo mu byl dal. He didn't even have a medanga. Dobrý nejmo medanga. Was he good to ever? With all his books and instruments and everything. Co tam mohl dělat? Protože se zjistil, že ty si knihy, instrumenty, ty kanta. Anyhow, thank you very much for coming tonight. Bohu dobře, že jsi tady tady večer. And for sitting here. I chci sedět tu. And listening to my words. I chci sedět moje tady domů. I offer my prayer and my thanks to Prabhupad. Předávám moje tě mluvití, moje tě bohužádnost na Prabhupad. And I wish you in this new year an amazing experience of being with the divine, of understanding the divine, of spreading the divine. All you have to do get a pair of cartas. Or if you don't have that, clap your hands. God has given you a nice instrument when you were born. That's enough. And chant Hare Krishna. And you will see everything will come. Sooner or later you will have a wonderful life. Скоро или малко или рано или късно ще имате прекрасен живот. But maybe then you want to go somewhere else. Ама тогава може ще искате да отидете някъде другаде. And spread the love of God somewhere else. И да разпространите любовта към Бога някъде другаде. Now it's your time. Сега е вашето време. Questions? Въпроси? I challenged. Предизвиках ви. Now you have to accept the challenge or surrender. So, you have to accept the challenge or surrender. It's your choice. It's your choice. Our temple is 
always open to serve everybody. Нашия храм винаги е отворен да служи на всички. Okay, questions? Въпроси? Otherwise we distribute prasadam. Ако не, ще разпространяваме прасадам, защото вече е дел. Yes, Ачи. Um, I want to ask you a little bit uh, if you can speak a little bit about the um, relationship between Mother Earth and, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? <coughs> Somebody who brings the message of the divine. So means he brings all the Vedas with him. All the Vedas bring him. But last Sudaiva Kutumba come means that Lord Chaitanya teaches us that the whole world is one family. Why? Because we are children of Mother. And in this way he always proceeded. Teaching everybody to be very loving and very caring. Тогава Апа в ведическите времена майката земя имала тежестта на лъжата е носила. А сега изглед, че има по-сериозни проблеми. Не казвам опасни за майката земя. Ама екологическите ситуации са... Въпросът е... Uh, what uh, if uh, you're saying like Mother Earth was divine is divine, so when, the, when divinity is, has a need, so now, now ecological disaster is so that she, she needs ecologists, she needs protesters, so are all these doing also divine service, even if they're engaged in some ecological activity, because Earth is divine and she needs ако дали ако майка на земя е божествена и тя има нужда от еколози, от активисти, това е божествено служене, ако се взе с такава дейност, защото тя е от божествен характер майка на земя. Could you say that they do Agyata Sakriti or like unknowing devotional service? Може да се каже, че те правят несъзнателно любовно служене. Saint Francis said, "If there is something negative which you can stop, you should stop." Ако има нещо негативно, което може да спреш, трябва да го спреш. 
if there's something negative where you can't do anything about it, you tolerate it. Ако има нещо негативно, за което нищо не може да направиш, тогава го търпи. And then you pray to God. И се моли на Бог тогава. That he will give you intelligence. Че той ще даде интелигентността. So that you may know. За да знаеш ти What is the situation? Каква е ситуацията? Case A or case B? Първата, нали, вариант А или вариант Б? 